So when you combine the uh, blues scale with the bebop scale and then a couple licks and phrases, you can actually make a meaningful statement over top of uh, a song and, uh, and even over blues. So I'm going to play a, a blues and F for you just so you can get a concept of how to weave these things together. So let me just play a couple of lines that I'm going to play. Uh, remember that line, this one also. Um, also, it's a good idea to transpose all of your, your lines, your phrases, and of course your scales, um, and definitely the, the, the blue scale in all keys, so you have a, have an, a way to jump around and reference um, while you're soloing. So, if you're doing this line... You're able to, to go down, up and down, chromatic, and, uh, and, and have a fluid movement, and you can use it whenever you need to. Um, so that's, that's one line I'm going to use. So those are, those are some lines I'm going to use, and then of course the bebop scales. Listen to the uh, listen to a quick brief solo, and you can see how these patterns and lines and um, and scales actually come together. <laughs> So, at the end, you see I was talking about in the earlier, talking about using the blues, uh, you know, sporadically, not in, using it at all the time, but at the end, you know, sort of being emphatic with it, putting it, making it, using it as a statement in your soloing. So, you know, build your solos, um, try to put your language together in different ways, and then at the end, or when you're getting into a, a more rousing section and you want to add more emotion, you can bring into the blues. But uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you in your solos. And again, um, leave your comments and I'd like to hear from you.